With hundreds of Sonic figures released over the past 31 years, it's inevitable that not all of them are going to be created equal. There's been many high highs, many low lows, and whatever the f*** this is. But after so long, someone like me, having three brain cells, wonders what the best of the best would be in terms of Sonic figures. So that's the game plan today, we're going to go through every single Sonic character who has any form of figure and find the best of the best, and find the most sick figure each one has, in order to create the hypothetical, most base Sonic display of all time. I should mention a few things though. Firstly, don't expect all these to be in scale, it just ain't happening. And two, I'm not going off a certain area like accuracy or articulation or anything like that, but all around more of a complete package. And three, statues aren't allowed, mainly because they're kind of a completely different feel than action figures. And how is this supposed to compete? Also, this is all my opinion, so if you disagree, I don't know, go to hell. So I guess let's just hop in, starting with Sonic. Now obviously since he's fucking Sonic, of course he's gonna have the most figures out of any of the characters, so we got a lot of options here. If we look at the Master Toy Partners, Sorcerer's probably isn't going to be taking a lot of W's on these, since while they are cool, they are pretty inaccurate, and they don't have too much articulation, still cool figures though, despite the fact they look like NFTs. And Toyon's figures just tend to look pretty... odd, with all plastic and cheap paint. But then we get on to Jazzers, who of course has the 3 inch Sonic, a really nice one, pretty accurate, great articulation, however, given the scale it's lacking a bit of detail, so it's not a win just yet. They also made the 5 inch Sonic, which I really like. He's got cool dynamic hands, it's pretty accurate to generations, and it's got a ton of articulation. We could even mention the 10 inch figure if we're ballsy enough, though that one is kinda cheap, being hollow and not really being able to pose the hands very well. So let's see if Jax can outdo Jazzbears for the 48,000th time. The Bendy Sonic was alright, decent sculpt but not too inventive or anything. But the 4 inch Sonic is just god tier. Amazing sculpt, great details, good price, and overall just a fantastic buy. And somehow I think it's even more accurate than the $50 collector figure. No, I'm not gonna stop bitching about it. Gonna be honest, I think this one's just the cream of the crop. I think it's very, very close to the 5 inch Jazzware Sonic, but I think it beats it out since that one had much darker paint a lot of the time, and he always looked kind of muted and boring. I'd say he still has a better sculpt though. Jax lacks a bit of detail, but it's all around just a nicer package in my opinion. Moving on to Tails, there's a sharp decrease in candidates as suspected, but there's still a ton of cool stuff to talk about. Like for example, the Toy Island Sonic X Tails, which like I said is pretty hollow and cheap, but it has a really nice sculpt and the banks to the side actually works pretty well. Though Jazz Rose is for sure beating them out, both with 3 inch and the fantastic Super Poser. I'd say Jax isn't anywhere as nice looking with their 4 inch tails. And I'd say that Jazz Rose would win, however, recently they announced the Jax Tails Collector figure. And this man is easily number one. The sculpt, the proportions, the scale, it is just immaculate, everything on this guy. Just look at him, this is one of the best looking Sonic figures I've ever seen. Great expressions, great accessories, great everything, this is amazing. Can't wait to get this guy. Nah, but fuck him, Tommy Tails, baby! Then with Knuckles, right off the bat, there's the Jazz Wars 3 inch one, which is yet again a strong contender. He's always looked really good here, more so than the other figures in the line to me for some reason. And there's also the Super Poser, which just like Tails is very accurate to his in-game counterpart. But here a strong contender would be... Tommy, somehow. Their Nux is pretty damn cool. Nice sculpt, great arm posing where you can have them look both neutral and posed at the same time. And Jax doesn't even really compete. Like theirs are just fine, nothing really special. I don't know, I'm giving this one to the Super Poser, he's just that nice looking. Now with Amy, there's a shockingly low amount of figures to look at. Like she's got a decent amount, but there are nowhere near as many as you'd think. And it seems like whenever companies would do her, I could have worded that a lot better. When companies would make figures of her, it would look like this. So there's only a few subjects here, mainly just Jax and Jazzwares again. With Jazzwares, it's a cool sculpt and all, but honestly, I feel like they could have done better with her face. It always looked like some weird undiscovered fish species. But on the other hand, Jax and Amy is just... And there is that new Just Toys buildable figure, which is decent, but it's not amazing or anything. I don't know, I guess I give it to Jax, despite... Here, hold my hand, little monkey. <laughs> Now we get to the raw human power known as Shadow the Hedgehog action figures, starting with Joyride Studios. He's got great detail sculpted in him, with indented lines separating his different fur colors, and these awesome shoes which are just phenomenally done. So much detail just crammed in, it's just sick. And while he does have a more stylized look, this is still most definitely Shadow the Hedgehog in all his glory. And honestly, I don't think Toy Island, Jazzwares, Jax, or anyone really competes with this guy. He's just too sick, I'm giving him the dub. For Eggman, you have options. Yeah, most companies just kind of don't with him, since he's such a different design from all the other characters. So yet again, it boils down to Jazzwares versus Jax. And I think Jax takes the cake because they actually gave Eggman a mouth, so our man can finally eat his sandwich. Plus, he's got more versatile hands that work much better for someone like Eggman. Then with Metal, it's absolutely no competition. It's the Jazzwares 10-inch figure. Man is just on a whole nother level of being. Like, Metal's design is just asking for an action figure, and this man delivers on all fronts. Super poseable, you can get this guy to basically do anything. Extremely accurate, and he has this great metallic paint all throughout. Man is just a definition of S tier and one of the best Sonic figures ever made. I actually owned this guy once. I had to ship it back because this is the box they put it in and it broke during shipping. Like, what the actual hell? There was no bubble wrap or anything. What the f With Silver, he only has a handful. 
But I say Jazzwares has the best with their Superposer again. The 3 inch one's pretty good, but weirdly specific thing I think I'm the only one who notices. Is it just me or the joints on them make him look more muscular? And if anyone in the Sonic series shouldn't be muscular, it should be silver. So this one's better IMO. Jax is nice, but this is nicer. Moving on, let's just clump the three Super Hedgehogs together since I'm sure you all know where this is going. Being the Jazzwares Super Pack, they've got nice details and such. Plus they look pissed off, which should be a legal requirement for Super Merch. I'm giving them the W so easily since the only other real figures they have are the Jax ones. I take Super Sonic back. I forgot that the Jazzers 5 inch one existed, that one's infinitely better. And we haven't seen what the Super Silver looks like, but if it's anything like Piss Shadow, it's gonna suck. For three, there's only four options being Toy Allen, Jax, Sonic Battle Racers, and Sega Toys Blind Box figure. And yeah, duh, it's Jax. She just looks dead on, she's designed super well, and even has extra articulated elbows. Woo! Plus, the Toy Allen one is. okay, I guess. Like, she looks like Rouge from this angle, but this one don't look right. Then with Omega. SBO's got two great ones, and honestly, I'd say it's kind of a stalemate. Jax and Jazzwares both did great jobs, but I think I'm gonna be giving it to Jazzwares since Jax didn't give him his kunai. And the Jazzwares one had cooler hand poses, like this sick double point hand, which works so well with him. And honestly, I think Jax is a bit too happy looking, in my opinion. If any character shouldn't be smiling, it should be him. And I'm gonna just say it, Vector and Charmy are the same way. Mainly since their Jax counterparts just have something slightly off about them, I don't know. I think it's the faces, they just look kind of blankly happy to me, I guess. Still amazing figures, don't get me wrong, I just think Jazzwares had more accurate sculpts, so I'm giving them the win. On to Miss Blaze, she's only got two figures if I'm not wrong, but Jazzwares far beats out the Battle Rights' figure, it's no competition, considering this one can actually move its feet. Now with Cream, there's three options, being Toy Island, Sega Toys, and yet again, Battle Racers. It has the same weird design style as Rouge, and you can't really get it into that many poses. Though the Sega Toys one is pretty nice, despite the small size. And while the Battle Racers Cream is a cool sculpt, the paint is just... Ugh. Honestly, gonna give this one to Sega Toys, they just made their cream so adorable. Now with Jet, it's a very odd case, since most people would just blindly give this to Jazzwares figure, since the only other ones he has are the Jax one that hasn't been revealed yet, the RC set thing, and the Sonic Battle Racers figure. However, those people would be WRONG, because this Peruvian exclusive Jet figure exists. This is a set of figures released by the company Missy Bags and Toys, only in Peru. It took a hot minute for people to actually realize that these were legit. Since the packaging and the figures just scream New Super Sonic Boom Run 2 2021 Movie 7, but now these are fully legit and licensed, and they're pretty damn cool. Like, they're not amazing or anything, but for what they did, they did a pretty good job. Comparing them to Jazzwares, I'd say he holds up decently well in all honesty. I still think Jazzwares beats it out, mainly since they gave him his board, and he's got much more articulation. But still, this guy's pretty up there. It's okay, you'll get him next time. With Big, you got a few options, Resorters, Jazzwares, Battle Racers, and Jacks. Battle Racer Big's paint is pretty meh, just like the cream, and the Resorters Big looks like he's on something. So I'd say Jazzwares takes the win, mainly because Jax's Big isn't all too accurate in the face. It's more rounded, and I think the eyes are just too... big. Now we can get to the classic boys, starting with Sanic. He, of course, has a shit ton of options, since companies love using him as the gateway to start making their own Sonic merch. But starting with the Jazzwares 5-inch Sonic, he's a pretty nice one, with nice proportions and articulation, though he suffers from the same problem that the modern one has. Being the paint and assembly is just not great a lot of the time, but the 10-inch one doesn't suffer from that at all. He's got really great proportions, a great face and smile, and he looks a lot like the 90s Japanese Sonic design. Really cool figure, and would look really nice on display. However, against all odds, it seems that Tomy is going to take home a W. For one, the 3-inch Classic Sonic, with his immaculate sculpt, phenomenal paint at one point, and just looks dead on. They did such a good job with this guy, and in a 3-inch scale too. A complete return for Sonic toys at the time, it was mental. And then, oh, and then they made the boy, the Tomy Classic Sonic Collector figure, also known as God. With tons of changeable faces, a base, tons of accessories, and a damn near perfect look, this man's easily the best Classic Sonic figure ever made, there's no competition. I would take this man to dinner. He's just such a perfect package in every way. Absolute W for Tomy here. Oh, and yeah, we don't talk about this. Classic Tails, now he never got a big boy figure like Sonic did. But without a doubt, Tomy is again taking home the W with the 3-inch figure. Even Jax doesn't compare. I'd say they have more of an expression, but I'd say the Tomy one is just infinitely higher quality. And this all goes for Knuckles, too. These guys are just unstoppable. For Amy, you can assume it's going to be Jax 1000%, since theirs is just so nice looking and adorable. Though, and I'm not sure if this is cheating or not, but I'm going to have to say it's the Boom 8 Amy figure. i say it might be cheating, because I don't know if he's qualified as statues more than figures, but who really cares? This thing's lit. She looks straight out of the ending of Sonic CD. They nail their face, and her pose here is great, too. Fantastic paint, craftsmanship, it just looks so professional here. And it was all done in a 3-inch scale, that's just mind-blowing. And the same goes for classic Super Sonic. He's got the Jax figure, but this one just blows it out of the water. He's in a sick pose, he looks pissed, and he even has the diamond sparkles behind him. They legit just made a figure of his sprite from the Genesis games, like bruh. 
And I gotta give a third wins to Classic Metal Sonic. He isn't too special of a pose, but damn that metallic paint just looks sick. It just sticks out so well. His head is a bit round, and I would have appreciated some sole details. Huh, he doesn't have anything on the bottoms of his shoes after all. I did not know that. But man, is still just on a completely separate level than all the other classic metal figures that have been made. When companies make a Metal Sonic right, they make him right. Then with Classic Eggman, we break away from that and get to see Jazzwares and Jax back at it again. Ain't that new? Let me give us one to Jazzwares, since the Jax one's body is more square-shaped when we look at it. I mean, it's really not too much of a difference. These things are pretty similar. I mean, it's Classic Eggman. He's one of the simplest designs out of the main cast. He's just a circle with arms, legs, and a fat head. The Warehog's up next, and he's got two main figures, both from Jazzwares, with the 3-inch and 5-inch versions. Without a doubt, the 5-inch outdoes the 3, with the hype amount of detail they crammed into this guy. His head could have used a bit more tweaking, but it still looks great. He's got all his fur detailed in it, it just looks awesome. And also the 3 inch one has cyan colored chest and muzzle fur because they could. And then we'll cram Mighty and Ray into the same boat because they're more or less the same releases. They both have three main figures with the Spears, 2x5 inch, and 4 inch figures from Jax. And while you may think the 4 inch figure auto wins, I don't know, I think I prefer the 2.5 inch Mighty. He just looks cooler in my opinion, he looks less action figure-y if that makes sense. Ray still gets the 4 inch dub though. And that brings us to a kind of odd position. We've now talked about pretty much every mainline character and we still have a backlog to go through. With more obscure characters or ones that only have like one or two figures to their name. So let's just go in a semi rapid fire section where we attempt to list every other character from Sonic who has any form of figure. There's really no order to this, so let's just start with Cheese. He had the figure from Toy Island and the one from the Sega Toys blind boxes, and I'd say the Toy Island one's cooler. Chaos has the Jax figure. Gamma's got some pretty steep competition with the Resource figure as well as the Jax Bendy Disc figure. I don't know, I think you could take it or leave it on these two. They're both pretty epic. Super Tails has a Funko Pop. Sally has one figure from Sega World Sydney, which is my holy grail. I want this thing so badly. Neutral Chow's got a couple, mainly Tommy and Jax. I mean, come on, it's Jax. Dark Chow's got Jax. All the movie characters have the 4 inch figures. There's really no competition there, though I guess you could say that Sonic from Wave 2 might be a better figure considering they fix his weird little paint chest blob thing. Though then you gotta deal with all the electricity and the not blue eyes. Sir Lancelot, Sir Galahad, and Excalibur Sonic, all the ones from Jazzwares. And Caliburn has a 3 inch and 5 inch version from Jazzwares. The screw those because his best figure is the Wii Remote. Deco and Boko, I think I said their names right, I've never watched Sonic X really. Both have figures from the Sega Toy Sonic X blind box set. Styx of course had her two Tommy figures in the form of Styx and Slimy Styx, as well as the Battle Racers figure, and I guess I'll just give it to Slimy Styx because I can. What are you gonna do about it? Rave and Storm have Jazzwares and Battle Racers, Jazzwares easy win. Tommy had the White Laser Drill Rocket Cube and Burst Wisps. Though I think Jax's Laser Wisp is easily better. Froggy had a figure from Toy Island and Jazzwares. I'll give it to Jazzwares. And now Badnik time. Motobug has the Jax figure. Easy win. Though Classic Motobug has the Kid Robot figure. Buzz Bomber has the figure from Jax. Grabber has the figure from Jazzwares. As well as the Spinner, Moto Beetle, Egg Pond, Iblis Spider, Sandworm. Egg Robo, I'd say I give it to Jazzwares since it had more sculpting on the body. And Egg Fighter had a figure from Jazzwares too. Chopper, I'd say Jax beat out Kid Robot. Crab Meat, I mean, I, mean, I guess you can count the Lego figure, but Jax easily wins. That Octopus Bot, I forgot to look the name up of when I was writing the script, and I'll, I, don't, I don't feel like it. <coughs> um, yeah, that's gonna be a um, the Kid Robot, yeah. Coconuts from Kid Robot, Spikes from Kid Robot, Kiki from Toy Island. Burrowbot's kind of weird because he got the old Fee figure, which is god awful, but Jax is making a new one that's infinitely gonna be better. But technically, we have no proof of that, so I guess I'll have to give it to the Fee. He got revealed, he's cool now. Megasonic, of course, had the Jax God tier figure. Batbrain, Splats, Caterkiller, Roller, Ball Hog, and Neutron all had figures from Tommy back in the day. Orbot, Cubot, and Burnbot all had figures from Tommy for Sonic Boom. Zavik and Infinite, of course, had Tommy. Megabot and Missile Wrist both had figures from Toy Island. I mean, I guess you can count Honey as the figures from Virtual Fighter. I don't know, why not? Flicky and Ricky both had Fee figures. We were supposed to get a little Lego Flicky, but Lego decided to fuck us. Christine Weston Chandler had figures from Sega Toys and Toy Island. I'd say the Sega Toys one's probably better in all honesty. And I think that's it. So there's every single Sonic character's best figure, God help me. This one was kind of funny to make since I had to go through so many wikis and such to determine how many figures had characters attributed to them and all the characters and they all had figures and it was just, it was just a big old, big old doozy. Things I do for you. But I will say, I think it was cool to at least see all the characters laid out and which ones had figures and which ones were the best. If I left out any, I deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart. But I guess that's it for me. So subscribe right now or I'll ship you in a box for 24-hour challenge to Scott the Waz's house. No.